Hello, everyone, and welcome back to more Let's Play Gran Turismo 4. This is Sky Hurricane, and in between, uh, since the last part, which the last part we did Swartz Lega B, um, I actually got back in my Impreza, you know, messed around some more with tuning, and um, did the El Captain Endurance again, and won another Minotan Soda, so that's why I have more money. And um, you can see that there. And I actually got a 147 to 798 as the best lap. So that really wasn't wasn't that bad. Um, pretty good for this car, I'd say. It's really hard getting just the right tune for it, I got, got to say. Sure. But yeah, I figured I'd wash my car there, you know, and y'all didn't want to say all that again. So in this part, we're actually going to kick it up a notch and do the German Touring Car Championship. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Real quick, I want to see um, what kind of Miatas that we got. We got a white Mazda MX-5 Miata. Could have guessed a 91. There's so many different colors and different ones that you could get. There's a green one. I want kind of an interesting color, I guess. But that's not that important. All right, I'm wasting time, as usual. So, uh, German Touring Car Championship. I could have, I could use the Alfa Romeo, I think, because I think it will allow the game will allow it in there. But we're not going to use that. I think. I think I'm going to go with. Yeah, this is everything, ain't it? Page one of three. Hold on. I was wondering why it looked weird. I want them. I wanted them in order. Okay, now I got them in order. Um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the Calibra. It's not or Calibra, however you say them. It's not as good as the M3, or it's not as good as the Mercedes CLK, but it's pretty good. All these cars are pretty much going to be even, though. But I don't think I've ever used the Calibra for anything. And you can see its stats there. 1,040, 421 horsepower. And I really shouldn't have to tune this any. I think I'm just going to go with the default stuff. There may be some other cars that you could use. Like, I'm sure you could use the Opel Astra. I don't know if it would be under Classics or not just the Calibra's under Classics. Yeah, so you could use the Astro. It's a little more powerful. Only 550,000, too. Hmm. I think it's a little bit lighter than this uh, Calibra. Oh, yeah, you'd have to buy that one, though. It's not super costly. Um, I think there's also an Audi. I don't know if the Audi TT LM. I don't know if the Audi TT R touring car can get in it. It's pretty similarly powered as well, though, in the same price. It doesn't tell you the weight, but it's probably not really much more heavy. And the A4 touring car is even um, cheaper, and it's probably pretty similar as well. So there's some other choices that we don't have that we could use. But I think this is what we're going to go with. So let's, uh, let's get to it. And... Yep. I'm not even going to try to say this, but y'all can... <laughs> Say what it is. So yeah, it tells you some of the choices, but there are more choices than that. It does tell you the Audi TTR can get in it. I think pretty much any touring car, um, any German touring car can. But the Alfa Romeo, I think, also can. Uh, you can actually see the Alfa Romeo there on the picture. The peak of touring car racing with unrivaled intensity of competition. All righty, let's do this. Alrighty, so you can see our opposition here, and of course the first race is at uh, Opera Paris. So, I'm not going to do too much. we got Racing Medium. I'm just going to turn off these driving aids. i got to get used to the gearing on this car. And right now my right ear is stopped up, so I can't really hear anything out of, um, out of its... Um, 
suspension. I'm not sure that's a good setup, but. But the good thing is they do give you a practice option. So I'm going to do that and we'll see how it goes. Okay. Well, I actually won the qualifying. So it, it seems the handle okay. It's really bumpy though when going over the curbs. But it's so low to the ground. You know, it's gets to be expected. And it understeers pretty bad. But I think we can do this. I guess that's the order everybody qualified in. Yeah, I actually have um, the AMG Mercedes, the one that starts out six, they have them. And, of course, the Calibra and the Alfa Romeo. I don't have the Audi TT or the Astra, though. But let's try this. So 95 points. Ooh. So we are a little bit um, not as good as they are, apparently. And I noticed that this car does better at the um, higher RPMs. Can be difficult to get the shifting just right. But. This track's so hard to uh, pass on. Yeah, you know, I think it's a good idea to do the qualifying on this one. Indeed, I do. Took that corner a lot faster in the qualifying. Yeah, this thing does better at the higher RPM, so we'll keep it in the high range as much as possible. Oh, Alfa Romeo, he is keeping everything. So that might be a problem, what you just saw there. That might be a problem. <laughs> So yeah, the CLK touring car that we have, um, it would certainly be better than this, I do believe. I think as a kid, that's usually what I would use. Although I would a lot of times use that black one that starts at sixth because it was pretty easy to earn, you know, as a prize car. Um, you know, when you you earn the CLK from the one make races, and I guess I don't know that was a little harder, or a little less easy to think of, you know. Than doing the um, European events, which are right there, you know, they're not as hidden. Which is how you get the. I am, you know, the AMG touring car. And I'm not really pulling away from him, but at least he is kind of gaining on me. Oh, I love this track so much. Yeah, he's right on me. You know, I thought these cars had about the same uh, power weight ratio, but seems like the Alfa Romeo is better. Maybe he has better tires or something. Some rate. For some reason, this race is 95 ice peak points, and we're supposed to be all evenly powered. So they've definitely done something to their cars. I don't know what they've done. I 
I did something though. This does have racing medium though. So. I mean, you would think we'd all have the same tires, but uh. Not sure we do. Oh man, he is on me. He is really trying to pass. He's breaking his neck trying to pass me. My goodness. If I'm doing this badly in the race, I really don't know how I won the qualifying. Oh my god. Note to self, don't try to take that corner that fast again. It's like understeer city on this freaking track, man. Okay, and for some reason I'm now pulling away. Man, I'm okay with that, but I'm not sure why. The last lap was the best thing. I could just a little bit slower, Sky, so I don't have a heart attack. <laughs> Looks like we're pulling away. Amanda. Fifth and sixth are way back there. I have a feeling the other Calibra probably is in fifth or sixth. Missed up that chicane. It's okay though, we have a big enough lead. Look at him gaining on me again. Crap o matting. I expected him to see right on my, see him right on my bumper, but no. Yeah. Front tire's a little bit warm. I didn't buy any new any other tires either, so. Hmm. Okay, we got him. Wow, that lap was a lot worse. Okay, they didn't really gain on me, though. Yep, the Calibre got fifth. Yeah, apparently I have one of the worst cars um, for this championship. <laughs> Alrighty, then. Yeah, I've done it with IMG before, but um, it seemed like it probably was easier on the tire wear, though. Even if it is a little bit slower than this one. Hmm. 
Well, I'm looking forward to the next track being different than that one. All right, Midfield Raceway. Hmm. I'm going to change some things because I have a lot of understeer. So let's change this to 48 instead of 53. Just lower it just a little bit. And let's raise the um, rear ride height just a little bit. And decrease the rear spring rate just a little bit. Hmm. Oh no, I may mess this car up worse by doing all this. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make the front just slightly higher for a little more oversteer. Hopefully. I think that's how I want it. Higher stabilizer um, on the rear. Okay. Let's try it. Hopefully, I didn't just make it worse. And we're going to start out last in this. Now it's 99 because I decreased my downforce. Well, at least we should go a little bit faster. <laughs> Way to mess up the freaking first corner, Sky. Gained on him pretty good there, though. They seem to be worse on this track than they were on Opera Paris. Seemed like it did help a little bit with the turning. Of course, it may be more dangerous on the road. I kind of was hoping to uh, reduce the bounce and stuff. Maybe it's a little better at going on curves now. I'm not sure. Oh, they're battling it out. Well, that Astro's in on the action, ain't it? Just sneak by y'all. Thank you. Thank you very much. After I screwed up the first corner, I was kind of worried that this is going to be a hard race, but um, definitely easier than freaking off our Paris with that trick. Yeah, when it comes to if we do the burgering in this, which, you know, we should. I think we do. I definitely probably should practice that.
they slow down so much on that, and then I'm trying to take it full throttle like an idiot. Which obviously I could not do. the tune though but I think kind of might be a good idea to um, adjust the brake balance it seems like it does kind of turn in a little bit too much when I brake Sometimes that's an attractive trait, but there are sometimes I thought I was gonna lose control. Oh, no, nah, I think it's fine. I don't know. But like right there, actually, that was pretty, pretty helpful. You know that it turned in like it did. that up didn't I? I don't even know how <laughs> not sure what happened there so I wonder if the Calibre was a regular car you know because a lot of times touring cars are based off of um, you know regular cars I never looked at it. Maybe see if there's a regular Opal Calibre or Caliber, however you say it. Yeah, not quite as much tire wear on this one. Oh, the Audi TT took over. That Astra's still right there, too. Too, slowly pulling away. I figured the ATT was better than the Alfa Romeo. Not by much, though. Seems like I remember the. Audi TT being one of the better, one of the best cars that you've ever seen in the Burgering 24 hour race. In this game. I'm not really pulling away anymore. That Audi TT is getting away from the others. Just a little bit. And that was the best lap, too. Hmm. Seemed like I didn't really pull away much that lap. I was worried the Calibra was going to make this too easy, but it's definitely not pretty challenging. 
I don't know why I'm taking so long to go to the thing. Alright, so not really too much of a change. But let's, uh, let's look at the uh, replay just a moment. Mess up the first corner. Wasn't that just beautiful? But we quickly caught back up. And took the victory. And I think by the first lap, I think we had pretty much gotten around the or second lap at least. Yeah, yeah it took us a couple laps. There we go. The battle between the top That was it. The rest is history. Get Fifteen grand for that, which is a pretty decent amount. All right, so high speed ring reverse. Oh, this one should be, this one should be a piece of cake. You know, I didn't even see how much this uh, would tune up. I bet it'll tune up probably above 600 horsepower. Can't remember how much power this had in a GT2. I know it had more than 427 though. Oh, y'all always have to hit me. Always. Always. I don't know why either. Trying to pass me, wasn't he? Or trying to not let me pass. Probably more appropriately. I thought this would be an easier. It's still only five laps around this one, too. It's going to be a lot faster than freaking off our Paris. Jeez. Wow, I'm really pulling away. Lowering the rear down force probably did help him at the on the top speed just slightly, probably not very much. They seem to really be sucking on the high speed corners, but man, they were kicking it on off repairs. This car has a pretty desirable handling. I like it. They're all still pretty close together. Didn't do anything to this. I mean, just just the suspension slightly in the downforce. Nine point six. Well, I didn't make that though. <laughs> it's 
It's amazing how much longer it takes for a lap in this uh, game around this track when compared to GT1 when you could do a lap in 45 seconds with a car, you know, of equivalent performance. Wasn't it 45 seconds? I'm pretty sure. I mean, you could get like a 108 with a really, you know, with this just normal car in GT1. With an untuned Mazda Miata, you could get a, um, a 115 to 120. Keep missing that corner, which makes me sad. Good on all the other ones, though, at least. So 15.6 seconds by, so that means they will not finish. Unless I have a really bad fifth lap. Which, honestly, you never know. Not on this track. Opera Paris, now you never know about that one. I missed it again. Understeer is definitely an issue. Man, they really suck on this track. I don't know why. Or either I'm just really good, which I know that ain't true. It definitely has to be the former. I mean, I'm not bad at the straight, but, you know, except for the lap one and two, I've hit that freaking, maybe not on lap three. No, I think I hit one lap three. It's not that big of a deal. That big of a deal in America. 99 points. Nothing unusual in the standings. Looks like the Audi TT is taking over second place. And nobody finished, of course. So, yeah, I don't really see any point in showing all that. Douche touring car Meister shaft. Yeah, I probably said that wrong. <laughs> Ooh, and a Bauer Green Nordslav. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. We're gonna start in the rear though. But I think our tune is okay. I don't think we really missed it up. Should be hopefully a little more stable than normal. Um, at least. Shouldn't be anything too bad. I mean, lowering the rear down force might be a bad thing for this track, but I think we'll be okay. Thing is, uh, the AI gets a pretty decent lead though on this one. Get a pretty decent little lead. Good thing is the Audi TT has to work its way up or two through. the Calibra now. So four seconds. Oh my gosh, I'm going freaking fast. Oh my gosh, I have to get off road to pass you. 
Probably a good thing I changed my suspension because I don't think this car would have liked this quite as much. Oh, 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 oh my god. I knew that, knew it was going to happen. Oh my, we're so dead. Oh man, can I make a miracle recovery? Jesus. 9.4 seconds. You know what? I'm driving in this view because, man. Hey, really? Really? I'm taking that corner too slow for you. No, I think you just want to scream me. Thank you, but uh, I'm not into that. The Astra actually took the lead. Yeah, I drive a lot better with this view. I just tried driving the other view to kind of show y'all the cars. But in desperate situations. Carthage C2, who still has not got around the Calibra. <laughs> Man. I probably lost 10 seconds from that mess up. I bet you I did. You know, ten, not 10 seconds by now from it, but just 10 seconds off my lap time. Oh, y'all moved out of my way? Oh my gosh, this must be the end of the world. Oh, that Alpha and that Astra are fighting. Yeah, they always go slower through the... Wow, look how slow they're going. Look how slow I need to be going. Almost went off the road freaking again. I always mess that corner up. Will you, will you please not kill me? I appreciate it. I want to live. Oh my god. Y'all go so slow, and then when I pass you, that's when y'all kick it up a notch. Because if I'd stayed behind them and waited for the opportunity to pass, they would keep going incredibly slow and be right in my driving line, blocking me. So I went outside my driving line. And then, then that's when they decide to kick it up a notch. Damn. Why this ain't two laps? Because um, I'm not sure these tires would make it. Don't really have much cushion. And why do I keep going off the road like a freaking thing? This is not rally. Goodness. <laughs> it's 
lap was not that good. But hey, we're winning. I doubt I'll get sub seven minutes. I mean, I know with this car it's definitely possible. Got to drive. Oh my! Oh my heavens! What can I say? Seventeen. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely could have done much better, but hey, we won so. The Audi TT eventually did get... Man, he did catch up to the Alfa Romeo. Um, the Calibre wasn't that far behind. Hmm. They were all pretty close together. <laughs> oh, my heavens. Considering how we killed ourselves the first minute of the race, I would say that turned out really well. All right, so last race is at Fuji Speedway 2005 GT. This shouldn't be too hard. Nothing we can't handle, I don't think. I asked her, what the, why, why are you driving like an idiot? <laughs> the Calibra's fighting that astronaut. It was like, hey, you're driving like an idiot. You don't need to be in third or fourth, whatever. Uh, when do I not ever miss this track up? Will you please? The Audi TT didn't take long at all to get to the front, and this one did it. I think that was his fastest one getting to the top. So he might make this difficult for us. Maybe. For some reason, I thought there was a wall there. Maybe that was added after this game. Oh my Lord Jesus, what in the world is going on here? My heavens, the other ones are way back there. I'm getting a little more aggressive now, Audi. Can't be having you toying with me this long. We take the exact same driving line, so it's like I can't get. It. it uh. Not the best pass in the world, but I guess it works. Seriously, really different. I've been mistracking this game. I don't know why I forgot. I guess when I did the um, one lap guide run of this track, I don't know if I even paid attention to it with the call enough. Mm 
never cease to understeer, baby, do you? Well, we're winning. All oh, it takes faster than I am. The scene needs to be gaining. <laughs> uh, oh, my driving gets worse and worse. I was thinking about doing more tonight, but I don't know. I think Sky has really about done a little too much of this the past week. Cause y'all, man, I pretty much recorded this non-stop from you know a couple days before Christmas to you know this is December thirtieth. Yeah, I've been recording it pretty non-stop. I don't know. Before Christmas break ended, I wanted to at least get a thousand miles done and all the um, hard rally. Probably the G2 World Championship. I gotta do that before I can do the extreme events. Not really building much of a lead on this one. But hey, we're safe. That was not a good lap at all. So can we see a lap where I don't fly off the road? It has to be possible, surely. this track, man, because I always feel so guilty when I go off like that. I feel so guilty. As I probably should feel. Man, we're having a lot of tire wear on this one, too. Which is not surprising, because it's a pretty lengthy track. They're kind of spread out on this. And I think the Astra's in third. After a very stupid start. And Alfa Romeo's probably in fourth. Yay, I didn't screw that up. Okay, we're going to get it this last lap. Bad tires and all. We're still going to... This is going to be our good lap. This guy doesn't drive like, drive like a doofus. Going to do it. Oh, man. Kind of got crazy. Car kicked in there. Oh, he's gaining on me. Oh, dear. It's just... Definitely ain't gonna be the fastest lap, but my golly, it's gonna be the be most beautiful lap. Yes. 
I did it. Didn't go off once. Except only in my dreams. <laughs> actually, it wasn't a bad lab. It shows you that it actually does pay you to, <laughs> to drive good. Oh, the AMG beat the Calibra. Look at that. All right, so let's see what our standings are. Yeah, so I picked probably one of the toughest cars to use for this. Um, it's pretty stable for the most part, but as you saw in the Burgering, yeah, that, you still can't drive like an idiot. So... <laughs> In all fairness, I was a little too aggressive trying to pass the AI, and I went off the road, and yeah, it didn't end well. But I, well, it did end well, actually. We won, but it just, we died before we won, so. We won, though, so that's what matters. And, let's see what our prize is for that. We get an AMG, ooh, Mercedes CLK GTR race car. That is really nice, but it is one of the worst Le Mans cars, or one of the worst cars that you'll see in the 24 hour of Circuit Del Sar. So, yeah, baby, I'm going to be coming back to you later. <laughs> this will not be in the next part, because 200 miles, that's a lot. Or a thousand miles, I mean. Um, but it might be the part after that. It probably will be. 80%. 80.6%. So, uh, I forgot. Mercedes. Let's check our car we won. Yeah, 797 horsepower. It's pretty beautiful. Doesn't even look like a CLK, does it? Highly modified. Very highly. So yeah, you can sell this for 743749 which is the same that you can sell the Minota for from the El Captain. But this isn't nearly as good as the Minota, I don't think. But still very nice. But y'all, we're going to stop right here. I appreciate you so much watching and hope you all have a wonderful day and... As always, stay awesome. Hey, my friends, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Also, subscribe and hit the little bell icon for notifications of future videos. There are a lot of reasons to subscribe to the channel, including monthly giveaways, things on the Discord, such as karaoke Saturdays, a place for show and tell where you can advertise your own channel or your own talents. Regardless of what you choose, stay awesome, everybody.